Hi YouTube, hi fungi friends, welcome in, welcome in. Today we're checking out Venba. Um, this game has been on my radar ever since, I'm pretty sure it's been on the Wholesome Direct and everything like that. It's been on like PC game showcases and whatnot. I am super excited to play this, it is finally out. Uh, the game itself is essentially a short narrative cooking game where you play as an Indian mom who immigrates to Canada with her family in the 1980s. And it's basically a game about family, love, loss, and more. I'm probably gonna cry my eyes out. I know that 100%. The game itself is about one to two hours. So this will probably just be a single upload kind of a thing. But yeah, I'm super excited to play it. Uh, I highly recommend uh, checking it out if you can as well, too. It is free on PC Game Pass. And um, if you're also interested in actually purchasing it as well, too, um, I think for about like a week as it starts, it's going to be 15% off as well. And uh, yeah, YouTube, of course, please make sure you take your meds, drink some water and eat some yummy food. And yeah, stop by sometime. We would absolutely love to have you. But yeah, YouTube, hope you enjoy. Let's, uh, let's get started. Let's play the game. Let us play the game. Let's all cry. Think well before you dare and never reiterate once in action. Ruminate once in action. Squad goals. Leaving already? Ew, sorry, did I wake you? What time is it? Eight. How are you feeling? Tired. Just like yesterday. Ah. Okay, I'll call your school and say you can't come in today. I was just about to leave for work. You should go back to sleep. What about your lunch? There's some leftover idol batter and garlic chutney from yesterday. You can steam some idlias quickly. I don't know if I can figure that all out. It's okay, I was just about to leave. It's just Elias, very easy. It'll take me too long, Venba, don't worry. Oh, okay, so our character's name is Venba. I can just survive on the coffee machine. Dude, me. Fine, I'll make it then. Wait five minutes. Venba, really, it's fine. No, no, no. I need to make lunch for myself anyways. Just tell the school it'll be done in a minute. Okay. I don't want him to just go to work and like not have food. You know? But also at the same time, I feel like he should be able to do it. Bro, I'm exhausted. Okay, let's get this done fast. Although... Should I try my mother's recipe for once? The way I make idlis are never as soft as hers. I actually don't know what this is. Oh, look at that right now. Oh, it's a savory rice cake originating from South India. Popular as a breakfast food, Southern India and Sri Lanka. Ooh, interesting. Also, I do apologize in advance if I am pronouncing anything wrong. I'm going to try my best. But I do just want to apologize. And they would always cheer me up when I'm feeling sick. I, sh I should just make them her way today. Hmm. The recipe is still readable, that is. Alright, so we get a recipe. Okay. We need a plate, towel, cooker, ingredients, water, batter. Holes to steam through. These also have holes so batter can cook. Oh my gosh. Him, I've not made it all with these kind of plates before. The only difference from mine seems to be the holes on the plates. The recipe also calls for towels. I'm not sure why. But Ama swears this method makes it a lot softer. Okay, that's great, but I was still reading. Okay. Arrange plates so steams can cook batter properly. Okay. I'm not sure how to do this. Hmm, this is hard. 
I could really use a hint. Put a towel on each plate before turning. Okay, so this is the towel. I also think the alignment of the plates matter. I should make sure that each plate's batter slot is directly above the steam holes as the plate below. Okay, so I take a towel. Do I not take, oh, do I take a plate first? No point putting the plate without the batter in the cooker. Okay, but do I put the towel first or the batter? Okay, so we take the batter. Nope. <laughs> do we take the water? Okay. Do I put the towel, the water, the water? We have to put the water in first. I do like girls' generation. This. Nope. The towel. Turn it on. Close the lid before turning on the stove. Okay. Okay, we can't stock the plates yet. The batter. Nope. The towel. Yeah, what do we do next? Nope. Oh, the batter into the plates? Ah. There we go. Okay. Towel. Oh, I thought we were covering the batter with the towel. Okay. Into here. Okay, now we turn we turn this, don't we? So the steam can come through. Yeah, we turn it so the steam can come through. We turn this. Am I doing this right? Range plates so steam, yeah. think then the towel okay we don't do the towel i couldn't turn before i put the plate in all right let's start over water so you can't you can't turn it so how am i supposed to turn it i know you can do this like this that's like about it We just cover it and we turn it on. I hope this turns good. Be long enough. Let's remove the lid and see how it turned out. Seems a battery leak. Ah, oh, darn. Oh well. Let's try again. Well, at least you get to try again. This is making you hungry? Do you tell ya? Last time I added the batter like this, batter leaked through the tiny holes. I should try something different. Maybe the towel would help stop the leak? Oh, so now we do the towel. Oh. Oh, interesting. Now that it is trial and error. Interesting. So you put the towel on. Oh. It's like a scripted loss. Well, let's see how this one turns out. Should be long enough. Let's remove the lid and see how it turned out. Oh, a little bit better. It looks like, oh, the only the bottom plate. Maybe the water from the steam didn't reach the upper plates. There must be, oh, okay. Again, once again. We're getting there. We're figuring it out. Oh, I forgot the batter in the cooker. 
Okay, so it's like... Oh, so it has... Oh, I understand now. Hey, guys. I don't under... I don't... I don't think I tagged my stream backseating aloud. So I don't know why some of you are backseating. If I want help, I'll ask for help. But I'm not sure why there's a bunch of people backseating in my stream right now. Thank you. The game just came out. Let me figure it out, please, and thank you. Okay, so now we do it like this. Yes. And then we can do it like this. And then like that. Okay. And I feel like this should work a little bit better. All right, let's see how it turns out. That should be long enough. Let's remove the lid and see how it turns out. I think we did a lot better. Yay, we figured it out. I also love the art style, it looks great. She's still exhausted. Oh, hell yeah, look at the smiley faces. Hi, Johnny, welcome in. Oh, wow, you even took the time to make our faces. Oh, that's cute. I think you forgot my beard, though. You really didn't have to do this. What else could I do? My husband can't figure it out. It's true. Fucking tell him, Venba. Tell him. Venba, I told you to go to sleep. Bro, you're about to go to sleep. I'm about to kick your ass. That's why I should have welcome in. You've been feeling sick and exhausted. Jesus, you guys hear that fucking thunder? Is that thunder? I don't know what the fuck that was. It was loud, though. No? Okay, perfect. Yeah, I guess there's a thunder thunderstorm by us right now. You didn't have to cook. It's not a big deal if I skip lunch once. Havalin, you're making me choose between resting and letting you starve. That's not a fair choice to me. You're not letting me starve. I know, but that's what it feels like. And even if I'd let you leave... I couldn't sleep peacefully. I'd feel too guilty. I know I shouldn't, but you know I would. Is it so hard for you to cook even on days like this? You're right. Sorry. At least we're talking it out and having this conversation. Did you look for tickets back home? Yes, it's expensive, but we can manage it. So do you think we should go? I don't know. Let me ask the boss again if he can make me full time. But unless the school gives you more shifts or my boss changes his mind, it's going to be tough to stay in Canada. You know, there are other options, but... I wouldn't mind going back. I'm sure I can teach again at my old job. And there's nothing really keeping us here. That would be nice. Okay, well, why don't you leave with me now? I'll walk you to the doctor's office before I go to work. She's gonna find out that she's pregnant. A hundred percent. Because everything's like, oh, we could go back. We could go back, you know? We'll, we'll just move back. But I feel like as soon as a kid's gonna come into the picture, then it's gonna be like, oh shit, we can't. We can't stay. I walk to the docks before I go to work. Oh no, I'm sure all I need is some sleep. You've been saying that for two days now. Which province is the most expensive to live in? Uh, probably uh, the Yukon, the Northwest Territories, or none of it because of how the Canadian government gouges their grocery prices. Those are the most expensive places uh, to live. Come on, I'll walk you. Doctors are free here. Which is kind of effed up when you think about it because the majority of Aboriginal communities live up there and they got to pay like $20 for a jug of milk. So it's like, hmm, what's going on there? She's 100% pregnant. She's looking fresh. Yes, Venba. I feel so proud of myself for figuring out how to cook that. Look at me go. Venba, are you home? Is this like a time skip maybe? What did the doctor say? 100% she's pregnant. So the boss didn't even consider it. Unless a miracle happens, I say we start packing. She's 100% gonna say I'm pregnant. 
What? What's with you? You never told me what the doctor said. Well, I think you should eat first. Okay. Idlis again? Ah! What has gotten into you today? She's gonna draw three faces on there. Where it's gonna be him, her, and their baby. Yep! I'm so good! I wrote this game! That's so cute. They're having a baby! Yay! So I guess this means we have a reason to stay. I mean, raising a child back home wouldn't be so bad either. But there's a chance at a very different life here. It's only gonna get more expensive though, we're barely escaping by as is. We can't provide everything other parents would be able to. Oh. What if they resent us for that when they grow up? Maybe moving back to India is the best option after all. But then they could resent us for taking away this opportunity. This is a lot to think about. Hmm. What do you think, Venba? Why aren't you saying anything? I don't know. It's funny to see you worry like this. Are you not worried? I don't know. I feel very calm for some reason. That makes one of us. Pavalian, don't worry. I'm sure they will turn out just fine. How can you be so sure? It's our child. How else could they turn out? Aw. Alright, I guess this is the time skip time. Being outshone by one's children is a universally desired form of sweet defeat. Alright, so now it's 1994. Yeah, we have a kid now. Oh, oh we're in Niagara Falls! Pug, that's Niagara Falls! My name is Pavalian, sir. Pavalian, sir. Kaven! I guess that's her kid's name. Where did you run off to? Sir, it would be my privilege to work with you. Pardon me, sir? I don't have time to play, Kaven. I have a lot of work to do. Yes, sir. I've managed transports of hundreds of units of inventory per day. Pardon me, sir? Kevin, there you are. What are you wearing? Where's your shirt? It's a cape. Take that off. Let's get you dressed. No, I like it. Uh, it's Niagara Falls, Canada. That was my job at India, sir, but... Thank you so much for the two years. I appreciate you. I got the fire. Gary! I love you too, Hannah. Thank you so much, bestie. That was my job at India, sir, but Kevin, wait here. Don't run. Hot, hot. <laughs> Kevin, come back here. This has become a routine now. Yes, sir. Bachelor of Science in Physics, sir. I yo, oh, this towel is so dirty. Here, wear this shirt, Kenna. No! Ooh. Does have a bachelor's. That's pretty pog. But sir, you can just take me on a probation period, maybe. I'm driven, self-started, and a quick learner, sir. Put this on, Kana. Hurry up now. But I don't want to. Speak in Tamil, Kevin. I can't even understand what you're saying. You don't have to pay. You don't have to pay until then. Please, Kana. I understand, sir. Yes, good boy. Okay. Thank you, sir. 
Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for considering me. Good day. Hello, Mr. Bachelor of Science. What happened? I feel like, here's the thing. I feel like they probably didn't consider him for the job or they did consider him. Um, because even though he has a Bachelor of Science, the Bachelor of Science is probably in India. And knowing how people act over here, 100% they're like, yeah, you might have a Bachelor of Science over in India. It doesn't count here, though. 100%. Same old. I'm telling you it's time for it to go. They didn't buy the hundreds of units of inventory. That's not entirely true. I helped out in a grocery store when I was 12. And you were paid in candy. Ah, oh, well, I've only worked as a writer back home. I don't see myself getting a job for that here. Not with my English. Aw. I spent half of these calls asking them to repeat themselves. I should watch cartoons with Kevin. If I can understand those shows, maybe I can understand these people too. Yay! We can watch Batman together, Appa. Yes, but your son is going to forget Tamala at this rate. Ah. Uh, so I feel like when they are speaking in white text, they are speaking in Tamal. And I feel like when there's when they speak in yellow text, that they're speaking in English. Do you know his friends call him Kevin? What's wrong with that? Speak in Tamal, duh. Well, what's wrong with that? Oh my god, Zoe, actually. It's fucked. It's only one letter that's different anyways. Name still stories. It's a way for people to learn about you and where you are from. You shouldn't be afraid to correct your friends. It's your name after all. Who else is going to tell them? And Kevin means beautiful. It's a lovely name and it suits you well. I don't want to be beautiful. I just want to be Kevin. He's brighter than us, Venba. He's learned to adapt. We haven't. You know, he aced his yesterday's English quiz. He did? Really? Good job. We should celebrate. The Kana. What do you want to eat? I'll make something special. Oh, can we order pizza? Speaking to Malkavin. I want pizza. How about we make something at home? Like parata? What's this? And look. Oh. Oh, it's a flatbread. Fuck oh, flatbread. What's dosa? Listen. It's a thin, savory pancake in South Asian cuisine made from fermented batter of ground black lentils and rice. Ooh, they're served hot. Hot. With chutney. Or. Okay. I, I don't know how to pronounce that one, but I want to look it up what it is. I-D-I-Y. Yep, huh? That is... They're also known as string hopper. Is a string hopper dish originating from the state of Kerala? Can't pronounce that. It's rice flour pressed into noodles, laid into white discs, like shaped and themed. Ooh. I don't know what this one is. Dosa. Dosa. It doesn't. Oh, what it is. It doesn't tell me. Oh, it's a classic South Indian breakfast that is. Oh, tell me. Interesting. I don't know what this one is. Think I don't know. Very curious to learn though. Rihanna. This is a mixed ooh a mixed rice dish originating among the Muslims of South Asia. It is made with Indian spices, vegetables, rice, and usually some type of meat. Ooh. All right. <laughs> Gotta look all these up because I'm so interested. This. Oh 
hold up. Oh, it's like a it's like a pancake top with egg and meat curry. No, I'm tired of all of these. I said I want pizza, extra cheese, extra toppings. You eat pizza all the time. Have on. Have you heard? Ooh, what's this? Sorry, I keep stopping to read, but I'm very interested. Sri Lanka is a native to Sri Lanka. It means portion. It is made of steam cylinders of ground rice with coconut shavings, sometimes with a sweet or savory filling on the inside. No. What's that? Well, I've only seen my mother make it before. It's a lot of fun to make. Reminds me of a rocket. Rocket? Yes, a lot of steam comes out when you make it. It looks just like a rocket launching. It does? Yes. But you know what? Let's just order a pizza. There's no rocket, but you get a nice cardboard box. She's smart. Will it really look like a rocket launch? Do you want to see? <laughs> She's so smart. <laughs> All right, let's get started. I haven't made this before, but Ama has a recipe in on it. Hopefully it's readable. Look at those cute little drawings in the back. By the way, that's adorable. Where's the rocket? We need to make the flower first, uh. All right. Get the music bumping. We're about to do some cooking. Okay. Ingredients. 500 grams of rice water. Blend the rice. Separate the fine rice from the chunks. I don't know what that says. Chunks. Combined 500 of fine rice with water. I think it says over something. I can't read it. All right, let's make some flour. When do we get to the rocket part? Soon, da. Be patient. Sorting the flour. Venba, I'm no expert, but usually we toast the flour after we make it, no? Usually, yes, it's important to toast it, especially if you're going to store the flour later. But we're using it right away, so it's okay to skip it. Okay, so we need to blend the rice. So we blend it. Okay, now the rice is blended. Separate the fine rice from the chunks. Okay, so now we do this. I should shake the Steve over the towel to catch everything. I'm shaking. Okay, I have done that. Something, something. I don't know what to do with the chunks, though. Hmm, this is hard. Really is a hint. I think I should blend the rice alone and use the sieve to separate the chunks of the fine rice. But since I need to add all the rice, I need to find a way to use those rice chunks too. Could we maybe blend the chunks of rice? Oh, true, I guess we could. So we do that. And then this. Ah, oh, this is cool. Big brain plays. And then blend the rest. This looks like Cooking Mama. Yeah, Cooking Mama if uh, she was Indian. All right, cool. So now we've done that. And then combine the uh, rice with water. I think this is perfect. Why does it feel like flour even though there was so much water? We have to mix the water and flour little by little. The final consistency should feel like slightly wet sand. Also, Snowster, welcome in, by the way. I hope you're doing great today. All right, that wasn't too hard. Oh, Pog, I got an achievement. The complete, complete one recipe without doing a mix-up. Ama, when will we get to the rocket? Okay, well, one step at a time. Okay, cool. Flour, coconut, two tablespoons of fuck. Put the coconut as far away from each other as possible. All right, this is straightforward. Is it, Venba? I don't feel like this is straightforward. Let 
Assemble the parts so the water steams and cooks what's above. Tricky part is figuring out how much rice and coconut is needed. And in what order. Coconut can crumble easily. Oh god. Other garnishes. We are garnishing with coconut here, but it really can be stuff in between. Anything? Yes, like... Irachi putu is made with minced meat in the middle. Ah, my favorite. What about cheese? Could you put cheese? You could, but you shouldn't. You could, but you shouldn't. Okay. Grab a hint. This is hard. I still want a hint, though. Okay, so coconut is the garnish, so that must be the small amount with three spoons. Okay. The recipe says we should put the coconut layers as far away from possible. Maybe we should try coconut at the bottom, middle, and the top. Okay. Bottom, middle, and the top. So we put the water, it looks like, in here. And then... Okay, so I guess that's the three tablespoons of coconut. So... One. And then four tablespoons of this. One. Two. Another thing of coconut. And then... One. Two. And then I think you just add that the coconut flour after. Put the lid on. Put this on. You should turn this on after everything is ready. Did I not? Oh, now, now we're good. Okay. It's lunchtime, Kevin. Oh, I'm excited to see this. Ooh. Wow! That was so cool! Then I can't believe it didn't fall. Yo, I can't believe it either. Guys, we just got coconut mauled. Ama! Can we do it again? Oh, she's so happy. Dude, that looks bumping. We are unable to offer you your secondary position at the time. However, we encourage you to apply again next year. I think now money is starting to become an issue. Is he asleep? I think so. Kevin? Yes, he is. Good. So that interview. Another dead end? Yeah. I think I knew that before I took the call. No relevant Canadian work experience. We'll keep you on file. I don't know. I feel like I deluded us into thinking we can make it work here. Well, don't worry. I'll go to the employment office again tomorrow. What? I know you don't like Suresh, but I think you should take the sales job out of his company. It's all about who you know here. And we barely know anyone. We're not in a position to pick and choose who to help. I thought moving here would be a chance to start over. That even here, we still have to beg people like Sirkesh. It's not begging. I know. I'll call him tomorrow. Thank you. But honestly, I think you're more qualified than sales than I am. I mean, the way you scold Kevin on <laughs> Putu today, you're really good with kids. I can't believe you're having a hard time teaching in school. Well, it's not like teaching back home. It makes me worry about Kevin. Why? Well, back home, I could get the class to laugh, open up, get them in the mood to learn, you know? But it's harder here. What does that have to do with Kevin? I just feel like there's a wall between me in my class. I can't connect with them. They lead very different lives than we did. And I feel the same while growing around Kevin. How, how do you mean? What if I can't connect with him? It feels like he's growing further away from us. The other day he told me he wished that he had his own room like his friends. He said he needs his privacy. What five-year-old needs privacy? Can you even imagine asking for someone like that when you were a kid? It's like he's in a different world than us. Well, it's more than just that. Doesn't eat lunch at school. He brings it back every day with some excuse. I don't know if the other kids make fun of him for it. Or if he's embarrassed. Probably both. I don't know. I'm worried. These things bother me, too. We chose to bring him up here. But we chose to bring him up here, not him. We did it because we thought he'd have a better life here. And he does. This place comes from better educa education and opportunities. But it also comes with 
its own culture, language, values. We can't pick and choose the ones we want and ask him to ignore from the others. I think it's natural that any kid wants to fit in, right? Yes, maybe. It's just scary. Don't worry, Vemba. He'll turn it he'll turn out just fine. How are you so sure? He's our child. How else will he turn out? That's what she said to him. Those fallen from their resolver are stripped of disrespect, like hair fallen from head. Alright, so a year has passed. Go on. Tell her. His name is Pavelon. He's my dad. P-A-A-V-A-L-A-N. She says Appa is not at the office. Does she know what time he left? Do you know what... Oh, I understand. So, when it's all kind of like... It looks like it's kind of like grayed out and messy... I feel like this is because Venba doesn't fully, obviously, she knows her language. I don't think she 100% knows English. So I think when this appears, it's like a representation of she doesn't fully, like, understand what Kevin is saying. Yeah, she doesn't understand English too well. Like, she can pick and choose some of the words, but she doesn't know all of them. Yeah, it's like a cloudiness. That's such a good design choice. You know, my dad left the office. Okay, well, does she at least know if he came in today? Also, I'm sure this probably resonates with a bunch of people in chat as well, too, of, like, having to be a translator for your parents. I personally have never experienced that, but I know some friends who have experienced that, and I'm sure a few of you in chat probably have experienced that as well, too, where since you've grown up more English-speaking than your parents, you always have to be the translator for them and everything. So this is, like, probably resonating with a whole bunch of people as well. Okay, well, does she at least know if he came in today? Did you see my dad today? Ask her if he usually leaves with anybody. Maybe we can call them. Does he usually go home with someone? She says no. Dad usually leaves alone and he is very quiet. She says all the sales staff left at 5 p.m. today. She says he must have left then, too. Okay, thank you. No, where's dad? I have a very bad feeling. I hope, I hope not. Why are we walking through the park, Amma? Do you think Appa will be here? I don't know, Kana. Who's that particular? Oh, it's a fond way of calling boys into mall. That's cute. It's like a little nickname. Sometimes your appa loves to walk instead of taking the bus. If you decided to walk home from the office, it should be through here. But the lady said appa left at five. What's taking him so long? Do you think he went, he went somewhere first? But where could he go for this long? I don't know, Kevin, enough with your questions. Oh, don't take it out on him. Sorry, Khan, I'm just worried about Appa. I'm glad that she apologized right after. Why are you worried? Do you think something happened to him? No, no, no. I'm sure he's fine. You don't have to stay quiet, Kevin. Here, you can ask me anything you want. Anything? Yes, and I'll answer it. But only if you can ask him tomorrow. Okay? Ooh, okay. I can do that. <clears throat> okay? Okay, I can do that. Why did that lady say that Appa is very quiet? He talks a lot at home. Oh, look at you go. See, you can speak to Mal when you want to. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's that they don't talk to him. What do you mean? Ah, nothing. He doesn't really like his job, Kevin. Maybe that's why. Do you guys also like this very particular game design as well, too? Where when Vemba or the dad speaks, it goes very quickly. The text goes very quickly. But when Kevin speaks, it's very slow. 
like right now. He was a writer back at home, right? Did he like his job back then? So you see how slow it goes? And then this goes quick for Venba. Dude, great game design. Oh yes, he loved to write. How come I never see him write at home? Well, he always writes when something bothers him. Back home that used to be every day. Maybe you should bug him more. So how did you and Appa meet? Hmm. You know, I'm named after a type of poem, right? Yes, Appa told me, a Vemba is kind of like a haiku. The private school where I was teaching was treating both staff and students terribly. No proper equipment or rooms and horrible pay, so we organized a protest. We had signs and boards and dozens of people. One day we were told a reporter wanted to interview us. We thought this was a big break, but he was the shabbiest person I had ever seen. He looked like he had just woken up. Was it Appa? Yep. So I answered all his questions and hoped for the best. A week later, we all read the article that came out in the magazine, but it wasn't an article. It was a poem. It was a Venba, a gorgeous one too. It was about the school, the students, our protests, and it was about me. Somehow people could ignore our protest, but they couldn't ignore the poem. That's so cute. It received a lot of attention as a result, so did our protests. The school was forced to change, and I was smitten. Why did you move here? It wasn't an easy choice. The Valian wanted to be with me, and I couldn't imagine being with anyone else. But a lot of people took issue with us being together. Ooh, interesting. And they decided to make it our problem. It was getting really hard to deal with it, so we gambled on a fresh start here and took it. Amma, I see Appa! I hope he's okay. Everybody's pausing. Oh, please be okay. Oh, she- she running. She running now. Oh, what happened to his glasses? Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, is he okay? Is he okay? Please be okay. Yeah, he, he, guys, it's okay. He looks, oh, what happened to his face? Oh, what happened to his face? Oh, something happened. What year is it in the game again? It's 1995. 1995. Arna. Yeah, he's writing. Aww. Nothing, no matter how dear, should be sought at the expense of one's honor. Oh, now it's 2006. Oh, I guess Kevin's going to school now. Okay, I'll finish cutting up the onions too. Oh, he never changed his glasses. Interesting. I think you should ha think you should have everything you need. Yes, thanks, Pa. I'll go help Kevin pack. It looks like he graduated. I think he's probably going to college, maybe. Yeah? <laughs> Be for real right now. David, you have to remember they're like just getting by. So it kind of makes the most sense. Okay, this recipe is completely unreadable. Bro, you think? Layered biryani is very fancy. I've never made it that way before. But I've seen Ama make it the night before we left India. Maybe I can try remembering that. How about I just like look up a recipe myself? 
finding these ingredients. If it wasn't for the wonderful Elon Tamal community here- Oh, we're in Toronto! Pog! I can't even imagine getting all these spices easily or affordable 20 years ago. Tamal shops, restaurants, theaters, and I hear they're even offering Tamal courses for students now. They've worked so hard to create this little home away from home. Sigh. I wish I could do more here. Maybe I'll apply if there's any Tamal teacher jobs. All right, I, I have no idea how to make this, so we're gonna figure it out. Hmm, this is hard. I would love a hint, please and thank you. I definitely remember I'm uh, putting in the whole spices first. So before anything, I should put the caramon, fennel, cloves, and bay leaves. Okay. What is what, though? There's a logic to the order. You add these four ingredients in. You want all of them to fry in the oil nicely, but the ingredients you add first will always fry more in the oil more than the one you add next. Right, so if I want onions to turn golden brown, they need to be fried the most. And remember, once you add the tomatoes, they release so much water, it is hard for anything to fry after. Okay, so it kind of makes the most sense to probably add that in. Now the beef goes in after we add all the salt and patters. That order is important. Then add water and let it reduce. Ah, uh, how am I gonna remember all of this? Don't worry, I've added all these instructions to the recipe book I gave you. Remember, add all of these first. These ingredients, so expensive. Amma, why are you going through all this trouble? It's okay, D. It's a big thing to leave to another country. I don't know when I'll be able to cook for you again. Okay, so she's like having like a flashback moment, it looks like. Also, Haley, I hope you're doing great. Okay, so let me just like figure this out and read through this again. Okay, so I feel like you add the onions first. So we want them to brown the most. The chilies. The tomatoes because they release a lot of water and everything is hard to fry after um oh i guess i should have probably added the spices in first wait let's do that first so we add the spices in first it looks like add all of these first yes yes Oh, you don't remember doing it this way? Okay, well, cool. Oh, maybe it's just this stuff? Yeah, it's that stuff. I had the spices and lefts. Okay. You lose your mind over these prices. Hi, Ninja, I love you so much. Okay, so those go definitely in first. Then, you read this one. The beef goes in after we add all the salt and the powders. Okay, the beef goes in after we add all the salt and the powders. Then add water and let it reduce. Okay. Okay, so then this goes in. This goes in. And the tomatoes go in. And then, let me double check. After we add in all the salt and the powders. You just add the paste in, I guess? Okay, powder. Oh. Okay, so this way was the right way. Maybe I forgot to add the paste. No, okay. I don't think you add the beef in next though. Salt? No. Add that in.
Do I let them brown? Am I just letting them brown? I can't tell anymore. I feel like this would smell so good. Oh my god, this probably smells amazing. Okay, so it's not the paste. It's probably going first, followed by chilies, ginger, followed by the chilies, ginger, garlic paste, and finally the tomatoes. Oh, okay. going first followed by the chilies okay and then the tomatoes there we go i'm sorry i couldn't take better care of it but i'm fixing these and i hope kevin can appreciate it when he cooks these if he ever does okay so now we put the spices in And then we put the meat in and then we take the water to reduce the steam ah this smells divine i think we just need to let it simmer for 30 minutes and we can start layering hog gravy is done all that's left is the biryani i hope i can finish it before Kevin leaves Oh, sick. One, two, one, two, three. At least the second part is salvageable. I think the idea is to put everything in the pot, sear it tightly, and let it simmer together. The one, two, three might refer to the different layers of gravy, rice, and other things. But in what order? Maybe I can try to remember. I see. We add all of these together on top of the rice layer. And that's the final layer? Yes. What's wrong, Amma? Oh, Amma, why are you crying? You know we'll visit often, and once things are better, we'll come back here. This is our home. Where else will we go? I know, Kana. It's just so far away. Okay. One, two, one, two, three. Biryanas are so fun to make and can be made in so many different ways. Every state in India has its own biryana and they swear it's the best. Amma always loved the Peter Idani biryana. I'm making it today. Hell yeah. Also, thank you so much for the follow, friend. I appreciate you and I hope you're doing well. Welcome in, welcome in. If you'd like to introduce yourself and to chat with your preferred name and pronouns, you're more than welcome to. But if you'd rather lurk, that is entirely a okay, no problem at all. Okay. Saffron milk, mint, fried onion, cilantro, tea, cashews, rice. I should scoop out a layer of beef using the empty bowl. Also, thank you so much as well for the follow friend. I appreciate you and I hope you're doing well. Welcome in, welcome in. If you'd like to introduce yourself into chat with your preferred name and pronouns, you're more than welcome to. If you just want to work and vibe, that is entirely A-OK, -okay, no problem at all. Scoop out a layer of beef using the empty bowl, then add one layer of rice. Then I should add the scooped out beef, followed by the last layer of rice. Then all the garnishes probably go on the last layer. Okay. Rice. And then all the garnishes. Where do I add more rice? Yeah. And saffron milk, fried onions, cilantro. I think it's called G and cashews. I think this is right. I just have to cover it with the lid now. Hey, I hope it is. Okay, I think this is it. You need to keep the flame very low and let it cook all together. The rice will fully absorb the moisture from the gravy, deepening, deeply flavoring it. I can't wait. Should be good now. Looks amazing. Pog. Saffron milk probably was the most expensive item. Oh, definitely.
Yeah, that looks good. How is it? Oh, so good. Beef really is the best. Oh, it's really good, Oma. I'm glad. I won't get many chances for cook for you like this again. Ah, Oma. Stop being so dramatic. I'm just moving out for university. Yes, Kana, but we'll miss you. Have you packed everything? It's a long drive. We might have to get gas on the way. Oh, as it turns out, my friends are driving there today after all. So I'll be going with them. Aw. Oh. She can't go with them. This way, you and Appa won't have to drive all day. I was looking forward to the drive. We could all spend some time together before you send off. It's not a hassle for us to drive you all the way there. We love you. Last chance for us to annoy you with unsolicited advice. Ah, uh, Amma, that would be nice. Jack J with the 15! Right now, right now, baby. But I think it's just easier this way. You can always annoy me another time. Okay, Kana, sure. Did I ever get any of those meat? <laughs> Did I even get any of those meat pieces? Uh, maybe we can drive there next week, drop off some food. Oh, I almost forgot. Will your friend's car have enough space for some containers? I don't know. Why? I've packed a lot more of the biryani. I've also packed some potas, pickles, and sweets. Did she give all the pieces to Kevin? Amma, I can't take that in the car. Why not? I've packed for you and your friends. You all can eat. Amma, they don't want biryani. And the whole car will smell. Oh. I don't want them in my dorm either. You don't want any of it? Haven't I put a lot of effort into making all of it this week? I didn't ask you to. Why are you getting mad? I know you didn't ask, but what will you even eat there? I don't know. There are cafeterias, instant noodles, whatever. I'll figure it out. Can't believe she gave him all the pieces. I'm just eating <laughs> Kazuka here. That's not healthy, Kevin. You can't eat out every day. Literally everyone there will be doing that. I'm just trying to be hel helpful. Well, you're not. Why don't you just take some of it? You don't have to eat it. I said no, Amma. I'm done with this. This is a fresh start for me. I don't want to smell like Little India anymore. I just want to be normal for once. Oh. Kana, the language you speak, the food you eat, the clothes you wear, only you should decide that, Kevin. You don't have to change who you are for us. But just be sure you're not changing who you are for anyone else either. There's a wonderful and beautiful culture that's a part of you. It would be a shame for you to for you to choose not to be part of it. Just because you think it's not normal. Then why did we even move here? We should have just stayed in India. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell. It's just... There's no need to create a fuss at, over any of this. It's not like you're never going to see me again. I'll visit often, okay? Okay. And I'll call you every week, too. So please try not to worry, okay? Okay. Aww. Is that them? Yes, I think so. Who's that girl? I've never seen her before. Smart kid. This is why he didn't want us to drive him. Chip off the old block. There he goes. I suppose that's good that he's so independent. It makes his own choices. Even if they are so incorrect. Our choices were mostly made for us already. Whatever he chooses, at least it'll be his own decision. We are just to wait patiently for him to come back to us. Until then, it's just the two of us again, huh? Just like old times. Oh, they're worried. I wonder if this is the TCB? Is in the Toronto Catholic District School Board? Possibly. Oh, did Kevin reach the university? Did he text or call yet? No. Didn't text or call? My mom. Here's the thing. If this was my mom, she'd be fucking driving up there. Kick my ass. If I did not text or call. Bro. Also, thank you so much for the follow, friend. I appreciate you and I hope you're doing well. Welcome in, welcome in. If you'd like to introduce yourself into chat with your preferred name and pronouns, you're more than welcome to. But if you want a lurk that is entirely A-OK, -okay, no problem at all. No, but we told him to text or call when he gets there, right? Yes. 
Maybe he hasn't got... Oh, he has. I kept waiting and got worried, so I finally called him. He just said he forgot to inform us and hurried to hang up. Ah, well, it's a big day after all. I'm sure he's a lot going on there. Oh, sure, let your son do as he likes. I'm not going to bother anymore. He doesn't want to eat what we make. He doesn't want to speak in Tamal. He doesn't even want the name we gave him. I'm done chasing after him. Yes, you're right. Oh, wait. He forgot his headphones in the room. I was going to bring it to him sometime next week. Also, thank you so much again for the follow. I appreciate you and I hope you're doing well. Welcome in. Welcome in. If like to introduce yourself in a chat with your preferred name and pronouns, you're more than welcome to. But if you just want to lurk, that is entirely A-OK. -okay, no problem at all. But maybe we should just let him pick it up whenever he's here next. Oh, he did? Of course. Not Favalian. We should help if we can. He uses those headphones all the time. It'll be hard for him without that. What? Oh, you made that up. Is there anything more fleeting than your anger towards Kevin? That's what being a parent is, I suppose. When Kevin says he wants to pursue writing, I was so happy. Finally, something we have in common. I want to show him all the work that inspired me, all the poems and stories that I love. And the ones you wrote too. All the stories you read to him as a child were the ones you wrote on the spot. Yes, but I doubt he even remembers that. I don't even know if he can read Tamal literature, much less understand it. I used to wonder why he wanted to turn his back on all the unique and special things his roots have to offer. But after that night in the park, maybe he's thinking it's better not to be unique or stand out in any way. Hi, Fira. Welcome in. I don't think we can blame him for that. I guess it wasn't the best decision to move. I don't get to write here. You don't get to teach here. And it's hard for Catvin to be who he really wants to be here. Maybe you should. Maybe you should have stayed. If you're going to suggest I would be better off not moving here with you, my anger is going to be anything but fleeting. Hi, Nico. Welcome in. But come on. I know how much you miss home. Wouldn't you be happier back there? If it felt like I didn't have anyone, then yes, maybe I'd be happier there. But I have Kevin, and I have you. Home is where you two are. It won't be another time skip. Time skip time. Longing for those who have forsaken you diminishes the beauty of the soul. It's 2014 now. Oh, I guess the dad died. <laughs> Do you like how Faye typed in chat? Okay, who's going to die now? <laughs> the dad clearly is dead. Oh, I hope the sun comes over and they have a little cook. Okay, you said that? Well. Oh, Pog, what are we making? Rotate, okay. Pog, what am I making? This looks very fun. It's destroying me, Faye, I'm so sorry. Oh, look at them cook. Can I pick them up? Can I pick it up? Oh, no, I can pick it up. One. Give me the Chips Ahoy ad at the most awkward time. Damn, Chips Ahoy. I wonder what this is. What game is this? It's called Venba. It just came out today. We're making a whole bunch of food. Zoe's just like very excited to yell at you. It came out today! Ooh. I know this isn't it, but it looks like we're making octopus balls. Because this is kind of like the machine that you use to make octopus balls. Oh, 
Oh, what's like? It's kind of like it. Fish, slice of the fish. Trying to slice the fish. Yeah. Oh, you put it in and you cover it? That's so smart. I cook at the fish. Flip the fish. Oh no, what happened to Joel? Take this and put it in here. I'm guessing this is butter. I'm letting this like fry up. What is this? Ooh, that's pepper. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know what that is either. It looks like we're like cooking spices. Oh, we made the thingy. Is that what we made? Oh, oh, are we scooping the thing? I like that she's gotten a lot more confident in like cooking. And she doesn't need to like rely on the recipes. This one looks great. Vembo, you got a seat for one more? I'm coming over to have some food, too. I'm so glad I'm eating my dinner right now. The presentation of this food is so beautiful. Gotta taste a little bit, make sure it's good. Oh, this presentation looks beautiful. Also, Fire, I learned like two years ago about it. So it definitely happens. Is he like not coming or like what? Lord, he better be here. Please don't tell me he's not coming. Grandma, I have lots of plans today, but I think I can stop by later tonight. Super sorry, Ma. Something came up last minute. I can't make it tonight. Kevin! She made such a nice meal! No! She made such a nice meal for 
him. Oh, all of this food. Oh my God. Couldn't be me. This would not be me. I'd be like, mom, I'm seeing you. Don't worry. Oh, no, she's so lonely. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, she got accepted to be a teacher, though. That's huge. Please don't tell me that that's the end of the game. Okay, thank God. Thank God. There are one's dignity, one becomes a puppet to many strings. Oh, please tell me she is like a grandchild. Oh, she's a Bachelor of Arts queen, Papa! Not usually hung inside the house. What are what are we messaging? My dad just liked to hang it inside. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I see it's something unique and interesting here. By the way, for the school lunch scene. I was thinking it would be cool if it was like a super diverse table of kids and they all shared food from different cultures. What do you think Priya's lunch should be? Chicken taki? Spicy vindaloo, maybe? Well, Priya is tamal, so she probably none of those. What if we show her eating nothing? Like, I would bring back my lunch a lot, lol. I was too embarrassed to eat at school. Maybe we can touch up on that. Who's this Chris? Oh. That might not fit the tone of the show. It's just a fun scene that celebrates different cultures and cuisines that really represents Tawana. You must have a favorite dish or something your mom made, right? It just feels weird for me to write a scene where she isn't even a bit apprehensive about the lunch. I was terrified to even open the lid. I get we're celebrating it, but a scene like this would make me feel like I was worried about nothing when I wasn't. Oh no, don't erase it. Yeah, I'll check my mother's recipe book. Oh, don't tell me Venma died. Dude, fuck this guy. Hey, Kevin, I want to ask you if any cool references for a set designers as they design Priya's home. We can do our own researches, but maybe there's something cool to have in your home. Something cultural and potentially of skirt. Oh, IDK, if you see my apartment, it's all movie posters and games. There must be something you remember growing up with your parents, right? Ah, oh, yeah. Actually, my mom left me a box of stuff before she... Oh, she left to India. She went back home. I'll check that, I guess. Okay. Okay, I'll have to give him the recipe. The least I can do is assure it's authentic. Oh, he has the book still. I can't believe Amma didn't take the recipe book with her when she left to India, though. Well, it looks like she fixed a lot of the recipes. I can't read Tamal very well, but let's see. Oh, that's so interesting! Oh! Because we could read Tamal when she was looking at the recipe. It was easier for us, but now it's in reverse. The game is so fucking cool. Ooh, Idlis! This is... Hutu? Oh, I remember making this with Ama and Papa. Yeah, the rocket ship. Also, thank you so much for the follow, friend. I appreciate you and I hope you're doing well. Welcome in, welcome in. If you'd like to introduce yourself and to chat with your preferred name and pronouns, you're more than welcome to. But if you just want to like it, it's entirely A-OK. -okay, no problem at all. That was fun. Birion, of course, Appa's favorite. Natu, Cozy, Alambu. Maverick with the raid! 
Marshy Marsh. Hello, Raiders. Welcome in, welcome in. Basties, if this is your first time here, my name is Glasses. I am a variety streamer. I use she, they pronouns. And currently right now, we are playing through a very emotional but beautiful game called Venba. It just came out today. We're also hosting a giveaway for the game as well. Um, the story very much arouses around a wonderful and amazing... Oh. Thank you so much for the bit. I appreciate it. A wonderful and amazing story about a couple immigrating to Canada who are originally from India and the whole culture and everything behind it from moving from another country and whatnot. It's very emotional, but it hits you in like the good feels in some way. But um, besties, of course, if y'all need to raid and run, that is entirely A-OK, -okay, no problem at all. If you'd like to stick around, we would absolutely love to have you. And of course, I do have a little raid trailer to play for you as well that kind of gives you an understanding of who I am as a person, the type of content that I bring, and of course, the craziness that ensues here. So please feel free to sit back, relax, and most importantly, please feel free to enjoy the show. Am I'm fucking your daughter. See you later. Bye. Yoink! <laughs> what the fuck? Kill him! Kill him! Try to God! Excuse you! I had to right away. He took my invitation! Sadako! Sadako! What the fuck? What fire? You're coming home with me, buddy. Who are these children? Get out of my house. Oh my god! Shut it off. Why are you? Hell, this is. Yoink! Turn it off! Long live the king. Ah, fuck, I just used self destruct. Oh, hi, Teddy Yursa. Ah! I promise I'm not gonna take it. I took the money. <laughs> I'm sorry. Am I Naruto running? Kill him. Kill him. Well, I gotta go. Love you, bye. <laughs> okay, bye. Did I just get hacked? And yeah, that's basically me in a nutshell. Like I just, like I said, if y'all have to read and run, that is entirely A-OK, -okay, no problem at all. If you like, stick around, then we'd absolutely love to have you. I hope Halo Infinite went well. Everybody, please make sure you go check out Maverick as well. Absolute sweetheart. And thank you so much, whoever just followed, by the way. I appreciate you, and I hope you're doing well. Welcome and welcome in. If you'd like to introduce yourself into chat with your preferred name and pronouns, you're more than welcome to. But if you want to lurk, that is entirely A-OK, -okay, no problem at all. One sec, just messaging Andy. David with the 20. Hey, fourth thou shoe. Shoe, shoe. Thank you so much for the follow, friend. I appreciate you and I hope you're doing well. Welcome in, welcome in. If you'd like to introduce yourself and chat with your preferred name and pronouns, you're more than welcome to. But if you just want to lurk and vibe, this is entirely A-OK, -okay, no problem at all. That's like chicken soup, I think. She made this for me once when I was really ill. This is the only thing I could eat without throwing up. I must have been around five then. I still remember the taste, the smell, and the day she made it. There was a phone call from India. The cooker was whistling. Amma fed it to me, but I think she was upset about something. <clears throat> I wonder what it was. Anyways, if I'm going to feature this recipe in the show, I better cook it at least. Oh, how helpful. She draws cute pictures of the ingredients needed. I'll go pick these up and then I can start putting it together. Okay, so the paste and the water. Okay. I can't really leave this, but thankfully there's a diagram. It looks like I have to mix this paste with the water to extract the essence multiple times. Okay. So. Warm water. I should probably add the water, okay, in the same bowl. Mix. How do you mix it? No. Nope. How do you mix? Oh. Oh, the water really changed color. I could add more water directly to this bowl, but that might dilute the extracted water. I need to find a way to separate the extracted water and well, you would just use this, would you not? Yeah. I thought he poured it onto the fucking counter for a second and I was about to be like, bro. Okay, so now that's, now that's like that, and now what? Did you just pour more water? And you mix? Okay, and then... 
and you pick it off and then one last time hi fira have yourself a great rest of your day thanks for hanging with us the water isn't really changing color that much anymore i think i've gotten everything i can from the tamarind let me add the up to the other bowl and see That's as much as I'm going to get, I think. I hope this means the tamarind water is ready. On to the next thing. I like that he's, like, throwing stuff around half the time. Okay, the oil is sizzling. Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay, well, there's no diagram in this one. Hey, there sure isn't. Kevin, I'm gonna need to you to rack your brain, my friend, for the tamal that you remember so you can figure this out for us, bestie. My tamal is at the most fluent, so I might not be able to translate this fully, but maybe I can do it step by step. Sick. I think I can make out a few of these words. Nice. Post both of the grains first. Okay. I just have to figure out the missing parts. And we can go step by step. Although I don't really see any grains. Did I mistranslate something? Did he? Chilies, shallots, tomatoes, curry leaves. Is it the garlic and ginger? That's soups. Sarasam is essentially a watery soup. The rest of power seems heavy on the black peppers, and I think that's why it's so good for colds and flus. I remember Appa came home one day complaining that the English Molly Guts from Way soup was a poor imitation of our soups. Was he talking about restaurants? Wait. Black pepper is called Milaga in Tamil, and water is called Panini. And if Ramazans are peppery water soup, then I might just. Oh, interesting. Milaga Tani. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Okay. I'm a bit stuck. If only I could read this. I really need some help here. Channel the inner Venba. Add both grains. I don't see any grains, but I do see seeds. Maybe she means the- oh, the mustard and the cumin. Did I already add the- Oh. Okay, well let's restart. So I added the garlic and the ginger. Ah, it's seeds, not grains. I can't count the number of times I've woken up to the sound, though. How is it already smelling so good? Oh, I can read this part easily. Next, add red leaves and green chilies. She mean, I'm guessing curry leaves? And these chilies. Oh, I must have had my words for red and green switched around. On to the next step. Add mint huh? and crushed ginger garlic. Mint, I'm guessing shallots, maybe? Because this looks mint to me. This smells so good. It's usually around this time Ama has me waving away the smoke from the steam from the smoke detector. Hmm. What gives out water? First add, huh, that creates water. Then add the water itself. Um The tomatoes. They create the water. Oh tomatoes. Frying it seems to release a lot of water. Then add the water itself. So that's what the tiramid water is for. No idea what this says, but I only have two ingredients left. So this and salt. The smell smell is really taking me back. Now, Mama was upset because of the phone call she got from home. What was the phone call that she got from home? Are you just not going to tell us? We're supposed to leave it to our imagination? I think I remember now. Cool, now we're about to hear it. Alright, here's me dying. Here's her on the phone. 
I know, he fucking just whips it everywhere. I'm sorry, Appa. I'm sorry I'm not there. I know. I thought she was getting better. Oh, cool. I think her, I think her mom is dying. It's almost the end of the month, so I should be able to send you some money soon. No, no, it's okay. Let me at least be of use this way. Can't read this part either, but there's not too much to do in this. Just put everything and cook it, I guess. I feel like that's not just it. In my honest opinion, bone in chicken. Add the water. Add some salt. Add this. Add the meat. Cook it and go. I should turn this on after I get everything in. Did I not put it? Oh, I gotta fucking put this. The, the tweet. The tweet thing on. So I can go. Tweet. It's true. The little whistle. Our glasses is pronounced X now. <laughs> Can I pat her head? It's okay, Venba. It's okay. <laughs> I'm patting her head because she deserves it. I should keep going. Whoa, that looks fantastic. Chicken stock always has a golden color, but the Terminek is making it look extra nice. Oh man, should we even feature this in the show? Some corporation is going to start selling overpriced turmeric chicken stock after watching this. Oh, for sure. Okay, last step. Last step, guys. We just have to mix these together, I suppose. Rasem is usually water, but here it's fresh chicken stock instead. That's really cool. Wow. I wonder how Chris will describe this to the team. I'm just messaging Annie. An exotic take on chicken soup made from a variety of spices and aromantics. Dot, dot, dot. Gross. So do I just put that in there? Yeah. And garnish. Ah, uh, that looks great, Emma. A lot easier than I thought. Let's see if it tastes anything like that day. I think he means gross as in like how the person was going to describe it. This is a fucking ratatouille moment. Ama. Ama, why are you sad? It's nothing. She's such a sweet mom. Did I do something wrong? You did nothing wrong. Hmm. Oh no, Kana, no, no. Scratch that. Actually, you in the future, you did something very wrong. AKA, you did not show up to your mom's dinner. I was pissed. I was pissed at that. I just heard from home. Your grandmother, Ama loves her a lot, but sometimes people have to leave and go far away. And Ama will just miss her. Why is she leaving? It's natural, Kavan. Everyone leaves someday. Us too? It'll happen to everyone. I won't leave you, Ama. Or Appa. What a fucking liar. Yeah, bitch. Liar. You little shit. It's not his fault. Any recipe updates? Don't give him the recipe. Don't tell him the recipe. Call your mom. Call her right now. Call her right now. Fucking better call her, I swear to God. You fucking better call your mom right now. A humble porridge can taste sweeter than nectar when fed by little hands of one's child.
Oh, Pog, is he going back to India? Yay. Dude, banger alert. Okay, what am I doing? Dot, 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 dot. Yeah, I told you I'm terrible at this. It's easy, Kavan. Listen, it's all about temperature control with Dosa. First, pour water on the stone to reduce the heat. Next, set the fire to the low setting. Pour the batter, and since the stone isn't hot, you can spread the batter easily. Add oil around the edges and turn up the heat. This will fry the batter and make it easy to flip once the edges are brown. Then it's done. Easy, right? Yeah, for you, another disaster coming up. Okay. About dosas. Batter for this is very similar to idli batter, right? Yes and no. They are both made from rice and fermented lentils, but the consistency and the way it's prepared is different. If you have leftover dill batter, you can always add some water to convert it into a quick dosa batter. Oh, that's convenient. Okay, water, the lowest setting, the batter. I forgot. Okay, that's good. I gotta rotate. I gotta put oil around the edges. We put oil around the edges. Oil around the edges. <clears throat> so then I can flip better. And then I flip it. Oh, shit. I thought I did everything right. Well, almost. What did I do wrong? You got the first part right. But before you flip, it's crucial to add oil and turn- the Oh, turn the stove up high. Got it. Okay. So I did do everything right. Low setting. Rotate this. Put it on. I'm rotating. Rotate, 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 rotate. He did hear us calling him out for sure. Okay. Roll around the edges. Turn it up high. And now we flip it. Pog. And then do I just flip it again? Oh my god! I did it! Let's fucking go. Good job! Ready to try something harder? Are you ready to try Uta Palm now? Ooh, what's this? Uh... Oh, it's a type of dosa. Unlike a typical dosa, which is crisp and crepe light. Ooh, it's thicker and it has topping. Ooh. Are we in a cooking class? No, we're not in the cooking class. We're back at home with a uh, mom. The dosa will be a bit thicker this time, so we can add. A so we can lay all the vegetables. Oh, this will be like a like the pizza one, right? With all the toppings. Yes. Not really though. <laughs> okay. So I guess I just I don't know if I had to turn it down or not. I can't tell. We'll find out. Dude, trial and error. It's okay. Yeah, I think I was supposed to turn it down. Yeah, I was. There, w there was nothing. There was just a dot, dot, dot. It's like, come on, dude. The dot, dot, dot was everything. Okay, now the toppings. Do I have to add all of them? Actually, you can just add whatever you like. Jules! Due to caffeine rush coming on in. Hello, Raiders. Hello, besties. Welcome in. Welcome in. Besties, if this is your first time here, my name is Glasses. I am a variety streamer. I use she, they pronouns. And currently right now we are playing through this very wonderful, very emotional game called Venba. Fantastic game. I hope your stream went well. You're doing some just chatting. I hope it went well, you absolute sweethearts. Besties, if you are not following Jules, please fix that mistake please go do it hello i'm so excited to see this new game it's so good highly recommend it so far um we're i think we're almost near end game we're almost near end game i feel if you guys like we are doing a giveaway for this game as well if you'd like to enter in the giveaway you just have to type exclamation mark venba 
and uh, we'll be picking somebody at the very end. Besties, of course, as always, if y'all have to rate and run, that is entirely A-OK, -okay, no problem at all. If you'd like to stick around, we would absolutely love to have you. And of course, I do have a little raid trailer to play for you as well that kind of gives you an understanding of who I am as a person, the type of content that I bring, and of course, the craziness that ensues. So please feel free to sit back, relax, and of course, please enjoy the show. Sam, I'm fucking your daughter. See you later. Bye. Yoink! <laughs> what the fuck? Kill him! Kill him! Try to God! Excuse you, I had to write away. He took my invitation! Sadako! Sadako! What the fuck? What fire? You're coming home with me, buddy. Who are these children? Get out of my house. Oh my god! Shut it off. Why are you? Oh. Hail the innocent. Yoink! Turn it off! Long live the king. Ah, fuck! I just used self destruct. Talk my tidy ears off. Ah! I promise I'm not gonna take it. I took the money. <laughs> I'm sorry. Am I Naruto running? Kill him. Kill him. Well, I gotta go. Love you, bye. <laughs> okay, bye. Did I just get hacked? And yeah, that's about it. Like I said, if y'all gotta get going, that is entirely A-OK, -okay, no problem at all. And yes, Jules, of course, if you want to avoid any spoilers or anything like that, definitely do that because uh, we are, I feel like, an almost end game, pretty much. This game is only one to two hours long. So that's like another thing as well. It's a very short game. So, uh, yeah, but yeah, like I said, if y'all got to get going, there's entirely a okay. No problem at all. And thank you so much for all the follows friends. I very much appreciate you. Very much appreciate you. Um, if you, uh, like to introduce yourself in a chat with your preferred name and pronouns, you're more than welcome to, but if y'all just want to lurk, that's entirely okay. No problem at all. Also. Yeah. Hi, Ray. Welcome in. You do know me through Ray Narvaez Jr. Yo, that's my boss. That is my boss. I am his community manager. <laughs> All right, we're making a B with the raid. Guys, hold up. We got another raid coming in. Cryptic B with the raid. Hello, you cutie. Welcome in, welcome in. Besties, if this is your first time here, my name is Glasses. I am a variety streamer. I use she they pronouns and currently right now we are playing through this wonderful game called Venba. Having a fantastic time with it. Besties, how was your stream? What were you guys up to? You doing some art? Oh my goodness gracious. B, I also did stream. Let me go drop you a follow back, you absolute sweethearts. Of course, besties, if y'all need to raid and run, that is entirely a-okay. No problem at all. Of course, if you want to stick around, we'd absolutely love to have you. This game is very emotional, and it just came out today. Um, also, if you, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> if you want to avoid spoilers, you can do that as well. Of course, I do have a little raid trailer to play for you as well. Sorry, Jules Raiders, you get to see the wonderful and amazing raid trailer twice, but this is why I'm asking Katie to make another one. So in situations like this, I can be like, hey guys, here's the other trailer. And then we can see both the trailers and it's sick. Anywho though, I'm going to dip out of here. But yeah, here's the raid trailer to give you an understanding of who I am as a person, the type of content that I bring, and of course the craziness that ensues here. So please feel free to sit back, relax, and most importantly, please feel free to enjoy the show. I'm fucking your daughter. See you later. Bye. Yoink. <laughs> what the fuck? Kill him. Kill him. I tried to. God. Excuse you. I had to right away. He took my invitation. Sadako. Sadako. What the fuck? What fire? You're coming home with me, buddy. Who are these children? Get out of my house. Oh my god! Shut it off. Why are you? Oh. Hail the innocent. Yoink! Turn it off! Long live the king. Ah, fuck, I just used self destruct. Talk my tidy ears off. Ah! I promise I'm not gonna take it. I took the money. <laughs> I'm sorry. Am I Naruto running? Kill him. Kill him. Well, I gotta go. Love you, bye. <laughs> okay, bye. Did I just get hacked?
Yeah, that's basically me in a nutshell. Like I said, y'all gotta read and run this entirely a okay, no problem at all. But of course, if y'all wanna hang around, that is entirely a okay, no problem at all. Also, Freshco, you're still here. I was just looking it up. Um, so it's pronounced Z her. Oh, the H I E is pronounced like here. So Z here pronouns. Correct. Are we completely honest? Um, we do have some people who have like other neo pronouns and other gender pronouns. You were the first. For the Z here pronoun. That's why I just like want to make sure. If you're still here. If you're not, that's entirely okay. But I'm going to learn and make sure. Also, Zenray, thank you so much for gifting a sub as well too to Jules. I so appreciate you, you absolute cutie patootie. But right, back to this game. We gotta make we gotta make this now. <laughs> we gotta make this. Alright, so let's make it up. Everyone's Ota palm is different. Just make sure to add G first. Okay, so I gotta add this first. I can add green chilies, the powder, and the carrots, and the onions. Bro, let's add it all. Who's gonna stop us? Who's gonna stop us? Then flip. Ooh. This looks good. Then flip it again. I think I'm getting the hang of this. See, I told you it's easy. I haven't made this in a while. This was your Appa's favorite. Harry dosa is dosa with minced meat. Yes, exactly. We're doing it with mutton here, but you can do it with chicken, beef, or whatever you like. Okay. Dosa batter. Bro, I feel like such an expert. I am not an expert at all. But. This is very, like, I feel like I could go and make this. I 100% couldn't. But some part of my brain is like, I can make this. I can't make shit. Check yourself, please. Oh yeah, the Kari Dolso and Kevin's dad was like 100% like didn't get any meat. Hi, Rachel. I love you and I hope you're doing great today. Now we can start by adding the curry toppings. Like Uda Palm, you want to add the G first. Then add the beaten egg as a coating, followed by the actual curry and finish with the coriander. Okay, so G goes first. The beaten eggs. And then this, the coriander. Heat it up. Get that going, flip it over. Wait for it to cook a little bit. Another one down. I like that we're just like making a whole bunch of food. It's very, very exciting. This is fun. Yes, it really is. Hi, Appa, good morning. You're doing great, Kevin. You can start your own dosa restaurant when you get back. I know, right? I could probably run the best one. If there were restaurants that can serve dulce like this back there. You wouldn't have missed home so much and left, huh? I came here for more than just dulces, Kevin. Oh yeah, of course. I was just joking. Oh. Okay, well you start eating these. I'll make the rest and then join you. Oh, no, no, no. I'll do it. Otherwise, they'll get cold before you eat them. Well, won't they get cold for you then? Let me do this one time at least. Sure, Kevin. Hog, what are we making? Ama, I have something to show you. Showing. This is Ama's recipe book. Have you been using it? 
Wait, I didn't fix some of these. You fixed those too? He fixed the recipe book! And you wrote in tamale? <laughs> tamale? This is great, Kevin. Is this all the research for that you show your writing? No, Ama. Actually, I quit that job. Oh, why? I... I felt like a fraud. I took the job because it was the first place that would hire me. I suppose the showrunners felt I could offer a tamal Molly perspective, but I've distanced myself from all that my entire life. I couldn't even speak the language fluently. What perspective can I even offer? I've acted like being tamale was inconvenient for me my whole life. But now I'm acting tamal when it is but now I'm acting tamale when I'm when it is convenient for me. When there's a job on the line? I couldn't deal with it. I had no idea you felt this way. It's true, Ama. I'm just a tourist. And I wasn't there for you after Appa. And every time I wanted to apologize. I just felt too guilty to even face you. You've always said you stayed in Canada for me. I know how much it must have hurt for you to come back here. How much I must have hurt you. And Appa. It was so sudden. I always thought there would be time to tell him how much he inspires me. Even the stories he made up when I was a child and he read them to me until I finally slept. My writing can't hold a candle to that. If I'm writing today, it's because of him. I'm still trying to catch up to him. He did remember them! <laughs> oh. That's not why I came here, Kevin. You didn't? I came here because that's what's best for me. Even though it hurt me, it's what's best for you. What do you mean? I loved living here. The people, my parents, my job, everything. Leaving India was necessary, but really hard. I felt bad for leaving. And I missed it so much that I wanted to raise you like we never left here. It must have been suffocating for you. And after Palavan. Well, coming back here and teaching all these kids have been great. If I had stayed here, I don't think I could have given you the space that you needed. Thanks, Ama. How long are you staying for? I don't know, Ama. But this is nice. Dude, we love healing. What about you? Do you think you'll ever come back to Canada? I don't know, Kana. But this was really nice. Oh, I'm happy you didn't go through at the shitty job. This was such a beautiful game. Oh, what what a beautiful game. Absolutely wonderful. Huge clappy clappy. Oh, so lovely. The music was fantastic. I love the gameplay design and choices. I kind of wish we could have cooked a little bit more, but I feel like we, there was enough cooking. I think that's like my m only minor complaint is like I wish we could do a lot more cooking, but still for like food consultants, pog, still for like the one to two hour game, fantastic. It was packed with so much. I love the little things that we notice as well. Dude, all of this music was absolute fire. Oh my god, I can only imagine if you are playing this game or watching this game and being a child of an immigrant family, Holy fuck. I can only imagine. Pog, shout out to our TikTok wizard. 
Special thanks, Wholesome Games! Yo, shout out to Ontario Creates. I bet it, like, it hurts so good. Dude, what a great game. Fantastic game. Hell yeah. Also, thank you so much for the follow, friend. I appreciate you and I hope you're doing well. Welcome in, welcome in. If you'd like to introduce yourself to chat with your preferred name and pronouns, you're more than welcome to. But if you just, uh... One alert that is entirely a okay, no problem at all. Rachel, fantastic game. I felt like I learned so much as well too about so many like Indian dishes as well that I'm like so intrigued. I'm gonna text my mom now, Lily, I totally understand. It was definitely very heavy. At one point we very much thought that the dad had died and we were just like, oh God. But no, it was much worse instead actually. But a uh, beautiful game, fantastic. Like I said, I cannot recommend this game enough. Oh my goodness. If you are interested in checking out this game, it is on sale until August 7th. But if you don't have the funds right now, PC Game Pass is offering this game as well too. So highly recommend that as well. Um, yeah, fantastic, beautiful game. 10 out of 10. YouTube, hope you enjoyed. Make sure to text your fellow parental figure if you can also yes remember to wish list as well too and uh yeah it's gonna be about it youtube so uh thank you so much for watching and i uh, hope you enjoyed see you later bye